Oh, episode 110, more first coat painting. Plus, light sources, negative space, and a little teddy bear. Pl what music am I going to listen to? I'll tell you at the end of the episode. But first, a flashback from where we left off last episode. So, I've got the body of the rocking horse in with first coat, uh, the rocker section, and a little bit of the toy chest. First coats. What am I doing now? Well, I'm getting ready to do some of the background areas. It's time for a new day. I'll see you later. Hey, new day. <laughs> Over to the drafting table. With the background finished, I'm moving into other areas. I've got an undercoat in for the ball. Now I'm starting to put in just little undercoats for the trim going around the toy box. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to be putting this in. I'm going to get some more colors in these other areas here. And then I'll show you a complete underpainting and the easel <laughs> and my in easel uniform <laughs> so here we go with all the things that I mentioned I was going to talk about at the beginning of the episode okay first light source I normally have my light source because I'm left-handed <laughs> coming from this direction going in so my highlights are here my shadows are the size for this particular painting, since it has that more classical feel, I'm having my light source come from this area, hitting here, which means I've got to reverse all my highlights, change it from light on this side to dark on this side, highlight on this side, dark to this side. Light here as it gets darker here. Negative space. I've got too much negative space. I didn't think it would be that much of an issue, but it is the more I look at it. So what I'm doing is I'm moving the toy chest over and I'm moving the ball over. You can see by about maybe a half an inch. Besides moving all this over, I will have a teddy bear here, which will decrease the negative space also. And that brings us to the teddy bear. As you can see in the worksheet, I have the teddy bear in, but I think it's rather small. And then I have this teddy bear, which I think is rather big. <laughs> you can see where this is going, don't you? <laughs> so what I think I'm going to do is reduce this by an eighth of an inch or quarter of an inch. And then it's going to be just right. <laughs> and I mentioned I'd tell you what music I started off with. Uh, I've been working on this for about three or four days now, hence the change of clothes. I've listened to numerous pieces of music during all of this time, but I did say I'd tell you what one I'd started off with. And this is Joe Bonamassa. Uh, this is live at Carnegie Hall, and it's an acoustic evening. Wonderful, wonderful CD. The richness of the music that they're able to produce within Carnegie Hall's acoustics and the sounds of the instruments that they're working with. Fabulous. With that, end of episode. Uh, next episode, I'm going to switch back and show you how I'm progressing with the other painting I'm working on. I also might give you a glance of how the uh, design work uh, is progressing. That's for the body of the horse. We'll find out. Until then, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.